Hey, 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 hey. How's everyone doing tonight, today, or whenever you're watching this? Uh, right now, it is about 10.52 p.m. It's kind of early for me, you know? I usually do these things like 2 in the morning because I got nothing better to do in my life. No, it's not true. I enjoy doing these things. I enjoy doing it. And I give you another installment of the Late Night Show. Hey. So tonight, I got my friend Evan Williams, you know, it's whiskey. I wish I had Jack, but that's for the rich. When you, or at least when you got enough money or feel like splurging. Got a little uh, Evan, mixed with some ginger ale, some ice, you know how it goes. It's a good drink, you should try it out. Uh, behind me, the soda, blurry, not that blurry, but you know, is Spider-Man 2. Uh, if you remember, if you're familiar with the game, it came back uh, a long time ago for the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. Yes, the GameCube. This was all before the Next Generation, and this was what I remember being the best Spider-Man open-world game. And since there ain't shit to play these days, I mean, I go on GameFly and I do not know what to run, people. I really don't. It's horrible. Like I got Super Mario Galaxy 2 and Spider-Man 2 out for Gamefly, and it is just—I mean, I—I—it's—it's I, it's a dry season. This is like the worst. And even going into the fall, I don't—I—I—I I, I don't really see anything that I, I have to go out and buy. Maybe Assassin's Creed 3. You know, Halo 4. I don't know. I'm gonna rent it. Black Ops 2. I'm gonna rent it. What else? Hitman. I love Hitman, but I'm worried that they might have messed up the Hitman series somehow. I don't know. You never know with these things. You just you gotta be careful. That's that's the thing. You, you can't just go trusting and with your hardcore money. You can't. You just can't do that. You just you just can't. There's Sleeping Dogs next month, which is like a open world GTA game in Hong Kong. I think it used to be the True Crime game that was gonna be in Hong Kong, and they just changed it to Sleeping Dogs. It looks like a good rental or well, whatever. But speaking about Spider-Man 2, uh, so yeah, I started playing it, and I, I realized one thing, I, for, I forget that all Xbox games are 16 by 9 they're not right screen, which is really freaking annoying. On top of that, the graphics themselves are blocky and really outdated. They look like the bastard child on Max Payne's freaking engine, which maybe it probably is, I think. I'm probably Wikipedia that I should have told you, but you know what? Now you got you can Wikipedia and do it if you want to. I'm just saying, just letting you know. You know, if you got nothing better to do, I mean. Anyway, back to Spider-Man 2. Uh, now the web slinging is realistic, almost to the point of being annoying. See, the thing is, you can't web sling unless it's realistically like a building and a web slinging, right? So, all right, that makes sense. But you, it's kind of hard to get back into. You literally have to web sling like you have to concentrate I mean they give you the option for just like one hold the button and do that so like you swing you hit a to jump off the web if you hit the, the the web swing the R button to do it again you know you shoot to to webbing and as you progress through the game you unlock new moves with web zip you know pull yourself faster so it's cool but at the same time I think it's, it's a learning curve which I like and hate the combat itself is just a button mashing. Like, I mean, they have moves in there, but it's just like I go in there and I just beat the crap out of people until they're floating in the air unrealistically. You know, when people talk to you, the, the characters are all blocky. They don't really say anything. Like, help me. I mean, the crimes, they're random. Like, you have to choose to help get a kid's balloon or stop a car accident from happening. Those are really cool. Um, I haven't run into any, like, super villains yet. I mean, I vaguely remember this game. I think Shocker's in it. He was, like, in always every Spider-Man game, and he was just, like, a big freaking joke. So, I mean, I'll, I'll probably play some more tonight, or, or I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of weird. Like, I know I was complaining about Amazing Spider-Man's web slinging being too easy, but I kind of miss it. <laughs> I, I, you know, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a cool game. I just wish, God, the graphics are kind of painful. Like, you know compared to graphics, like, Amazing Spider-Man looks 10 times better than this. It does, and it should, because it's an next gen game, you know? Alright, what else we gotta talk about? Uh, I played uh, Deadlight. It's this, uh, just came out today on um, XBLA. It's a 2D platformer with zombies. That's right, zombie fever, people. Zombies everywhere. Can't escape them. I mean, you wanna, but you just can't. 
They're everywhere. <laughs> so here's the thing about Dead Light that I liked was the style. It's very like dark and grainy, and the back with, with the background is like in 3D. The game's 3D, but it's 2D. You know, like Mario just going one this way, you know, jumping around. You kind of got to solve puzzles too, which I like because you you've got outsmart the zombies and like lead them into a pit and they fall and they jump over, which is really cool. It's not a shoot 'em up fest like you know every other zombie game. Well, not like Walking Dead. But it's it's interesting to see that people are approaching zombies in new and cooler ways, other than being like, hey, how many how many zombies can I kill today? You know, and. I, I think it's been getting good reviews. I'll probably read up on it. I might I might get it. I actually enjoyed the demo. It was really cool. I'd definitely tell you to try it out for yourself. Um, the only thing that bugged me was that the background was so beautiful and so 3D that I kept thinking I could go into the background for some reason. I just kept, but because the zombies can come from the background into the, to, to your foreground, into 2D and attack you, which is cool. But at the same time, like confusing to you because you're just like, well, why can't I just go over there? <laughs> maybe they got it. maybe they explain it later on in the game that like he's just psychotic. He just has to go one direction, you know. <laughs> and it makes sense. I don't know. Um, yeah, like I said, it hasn't been much gameplay-wise for me. Oh, Little Big Planet Kart Beta played a little of that. It's Little Big Planet meets Mario Kart. That is pretty much it. Everything you know from the Little Big Planet games, from customizing your sack boy. To, to customize your car is in this game and the, the carding itself was kind of tight it was actually it was decent it was good it was tight like Mario Kart and they even copied the drifting like when you're drifting and you shake your joystick you get flames and the more you do the flames get bigger and then you let go a little get a little boost you know just like Mario Kart you know all the Mario Kart fans out there holla uh, uh, no, that's, that's not what Mario Kart fans say. I don't know what they say. Do they say vroom vroom? I, I don't know what they say. I, I'll look that up later. <laughs> but um, it was it was cool, you know. Like maybe I'll go back and play it more. Maybe make a level. You know, the things with these games, there's so much to do, and the most I ever do is play shit. And it, you could do that. That's just an option. You don't have to create things. I mean, I do customize my guy. You know, I'm kind of pissed on my customization, but whatever. You know, I, I'll, I'll get to it. But, I'll get somewhere with it. I mean, I'm, and then of playing with it, I'm not gonna run and buy it. It's, you know, I love Mario Kart because as much as it copies Mario Kart, borrows from it. Oh, let's say borrow, right? Oh, you know, like you even deflect other weapons with your weapon, which is cool. But the weapons themselves are kind of like they were symbols, so it's kind of hard to remember what the hell I'm about to shoot. I guess if you keep playing the game, you just get used to it. Um, I played someone's level, that's pretty cool, like jumping around and stuff, so like, it's cool, like, it's kind of weird, because like, you know, Mod Nation Racer came out like a year or two ago, and it's like, I, maybe people are still playing it, or died, I mean, it almost feels like messed up that Sony's releasing it, but I guess Little Big Planet is a bigger brand than Mod Nation Racers, I mean, even though it was kind of like the bootleg version of Little Big Planet, so, <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was just, what can I say? Uh, what else is there to talk about? Let, let's look on the interwebs. Oh, this this caught my eye. The first fake website from GTA 5 has just been unveiled or revealed, or someone found it. It's called the Epsilon Program Site. I post a li I'll post a link on my Facebook or on my website, or maybe on the bottom of the page here, so you can go check it out. And it's a pretty interesting website. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Pretty make pretty much making fun of Scientology. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it it's it's pretty good. It, you should definitely go check it out. I'll I'll, I'll post a picture up there for you. Bam! See the picture. <laughs> um, but I this is cool. You know, the, the the marketing wheels are turning, and hopefully this leads into more info on the game. Like when is it coming out or, or features? Just give us something. Let make. Give me hope that it's coming out because I'm, I'm like scared. I keep waking up at night thinking they just it got canceled or something. You know, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. No one wants that. I mean, I don't want that. I don't know what other people want. You know, forget. I want GTA 5. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, what else is there? Oh God, I, ha I have to talk about this. Uh, let me bring this up real quick. <laughs> My last video on the late night show was talking about Jurassic Park 4 and 
I, I am not making this up people, this is on the internet, look it up. An Aussie billionaire wants to create a real life Jurassic Park, that's right people. Three movies in, and the guy still wants to make a Jurassic Park, even though in the three movies it just shows you how much of a bad idea it is. Apparently he's like an Australian businessman, and a, you know, Clive Ballmer is attempting to develop a real life Jurassic Park like with actual dinosaurs. According to the report from Business Insider Vile, Sunshine Coast Daily, the controversial and eccentric billionaire has been in serious discussions with the people who successfully cloned Dolly the sheep to work the same match from dinosaur DNA. Palmer's endgame, naturally, is to let this scaly abomination roam free in a Jurassic Park type sanctuary at his Palmer Resort in Kuma. <laughs> Dude, I doubt this will happen, someone will probably press the law and it be unethical, or you just can't do it, because all of a sudden some billionaire is going to make it happen, and the scientists going to make it happen, or maybe they didn't make it happen, just didn't tell anyone. I mean, dinosaurs are dead for a reason, alright? The, 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 their time has passed and gone, I don't think we should bring back dinosaurs, because God knows what kind of diseases they bring, and then we'll get dinosaurs, we'll all turn into like blizzards or Zombies, that's just how the zombie operate, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Like, I got my, I, my room is secured up the ass of weapons. Let a zombie come in here. Let that motherfucker, you know, mm, you know. <laughs> uh, apparently this dude, uh, he also tried to build a 21st century replica of the Titanic. Uh, alright. I, I wish him luck. I, I hope his next escapade is, maybe he's gonna make, um, Maybe a UFO or something, he's gonna make a costume, maybe he's gonna be Batman, you know? I think rich people are just bored, you know, you, you, you have all that money, you have a nice place, and you don't know what to do with it, I don't, I don't know what to do, uh, give some money to me, that's what you can do. <laughs> yeah, oh man, uh, I crack myself up sometimes, you know? Oh, this is messed up. Xbox 360 player attacks a fellow player with a knife. Apparently, <sighs> there was a verbal disagreement that took over a place over Xbox Live. Turned into a real serious attempt to murder. Apparently, one kid told the other kid, blah, blah, blah. I dare you to come over here. And apparently, they uh, they, they knew each other. They were, they were friends. And not only did they get, go over to the kid's house, he bought a gun and a knife. Pushed the mom out the way, went into the kid's room, pointed the gun at his face. For some reason, the gun wasn't loaded when he first came in there. And then he loaded the gun right in the kid's room and she took a shot. Somehow he missed the kid's head. Then he stabbed the kid and ran out. The kid's alright, and the cops called the, the dude to do it. And it's. Why? Like, really? Like. Like, come on, guys. There's a reason we play video games. Take our aggressions on there. Stab your friend on there. Shoot your friend on there. Don't do it in real life. That's just horrible. It's stupid and horrible, and you shouldn't do it. All right? <sighs> like, God, people are fucking retarded. I swear to God. I don't know, man. Like, you know, it's like we we have a ton of violent video. Why don't you go play a violent video game? You know, take your take your damn aggressions out on there. That's that's what I'm trying to say. You know. That, <sighs> I, I, I don't know, man. But let's, let's just all get along, you know. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure there's a song about that. All right, this song, this show is dragging on, and it's somehow becoming an eight, uh, update show of, on anything, you know. So you know, that's the late night show. It would be whatever the damn pleases. All right. But I, I'm gonna keep drinking. And I'm gonna try to get this out to you. Oh wait, you're watching it, so it's already out. Oh man, <laughs> I think it's finally ending me. This is Danny Mercado with Last Respawn. Signing out, folks. Have a good night, good day, good morrow. <laughs>